Hey guys, it's Mr. DeMeo, and today I'm going to talk to you about... Mega Wodan! Mega Wodan! The Megalodon, I guess. So we come all this way to this really cool beach, and all you're gonna do is play video games? Really, Andy? This place is a dump. Only losers hang out here. Hey, I can hear you! I may not have ears, but I can hear you. I think. What are you even playing, anyway? Super Smash Brothers. If I beat this next guy, I'll unlock a new character. Oh, here he is! Oh, man. I bet you it's a Megalodon. I'll bet you it's a couple of Doritos attached to a cucumber. What? I bet you it's a pot for me in a new video. Please. What? How did you even guess that? Well, I knew it couldn't be a Megalodon. They existed 2.6 million years ago. And besides what a lot of kids think, they are extinct. Besides, it looked exactly like the outline of a cucumber with Doritos. No. I guess, but wouldn't it be cool if we could unlock creatures like the Megalodon, just like in Super Smash? Well, you have that animal communicator. Give it a shot. Here goes nothing. This better not be a cucumber with Doritos attached. Nah, it's a Megalodon. Wow, a mega, mega, mega millions lottery ticket. I mean Megalodon. Hey, I have a name, you know. Well, what is it? It's Megan. Megan? Huh, isn't that a girl's name? You know your head is the size of one of my teeth and I can eat you in one second, right? I'm sorry, I love you. Please don't hurt me. Eat him. Hey, Megan, how big are your teeth, really? Well, my teeth can grow to be about seven inches long. That's bigger than most kids' heads. Ah! When people first found my teeth, they were so big that they didn't even know what they were. Wow. And in the Middle Ages, people actually thought Megalodon teeth were dragon tongues. What? It must take your dentist weeks to clean your teeth. How many teeth do you have? About 276. Like most sharks, I have quite a few teeth and a bunch of rows. In fact, most of the teeth that paleontologists have found show a ton of damage on their tips. Likely from the teeth crushing bones when I would eat. Wow, I wonder if any paleontologists ever found any megalodon bones. Unfortunately, they haven't. Like today's sharks, scientists believe that a megalodon skeleton was mostly made of cartilage. So? Well, go ahead and feel your ear. That's cartilage. And that's what my skeleton was made of. So when we died off a couple million years ago, our cartilage skeleton didn't fossilize like other prehistoric animal bones like dinosaurs. So because you had a softer skeleton, it didn't survive for millions of years like dinosaur bones. Well, yeah, exactly. I can't imagine a big creature like you going extinct. You've got to be one of the toughest animals ever. Yeah. So what killed the Megalodon? Well, scientists aren't really sure. But around the time I died, the Earth's climate changed a lot. The oceans began to cool and the sea levels dropped, and many of the large marine mammals which the Megalodon ate disappeared. So with no food to eat and the water we lived in changing, scientists think that's probably how the Megalodons died. I know how the Megalodons really died. How? Okay, hear me out. Maybe the Megalodons didn't like how big they were, so they went on a diet until they shrunk. No. I like where your head is at. What do you mean where my head is at? It's on my shoulders. Never mind. So, Megan, we know you're one of the toughest creatures that ever lived, but how strong was your bite? Yeah. Well, scientists recently did a study where they recreated the bite of a megalodon using the bite of its ancestor, the Great White. But to understand how strong my bite was, we need to compare it to some other famous creatures. First was the African lion. His bite was measured at 1.08 metric tons. Wow. Next, the Great White Shark's bite was measured at 1.8 metric tons. Yeah. The T-Rex's bite was measured at 3.1 metric tons. What? But the Megalodon's bite 
was measured to be 10.8 metric tons. Right, Scott. Ooh, you want to know what really bites? This video. Yeah, it stinks. I know one thing tougher than a megalodon. What? A Lego. What do you mean? Have you ever stepped on one of those things? Worst pain ever. The megalodon wouldn't stand a chance against it. The megalodon doesn't even have feet. Never mind. So how big was the megalodon? Megalodons were huge. They could grow to be up to 60 feet long and weigh as much as 10 elephants. Wow. You ever heard of the great white shark? Yeah. Well, imagine three of them. That's how long the megalodon could grow to be. But the crazy thing is, some scientists think maybe the megalodon could grow to be even 100 feet long. What? Hey, speaking of long, how much longer until this video's done? I'm getting a little sunburned, even though it's not really sunny out. And I'm green. Just ignore him. So where were megalodons found? Well, scientists have studied megalodon teeth that were found in places like North America, Africa, South America, India, Australia, Japan, Japan, and Europe. Based on the locations that these teeth were found, it's believed that megalodons liked living in warm waters. Wow. Imagine finding a megalodon tooth. Hey, I found a tooth in my filet of fish sandwich once. Does that count? Oh, no. The crazy thing is, megalodon teeth have been found on every continent except Antarctica. Hey, what's he doing? Ugh, he's playing video games again. Shh. If I beat this next guy, I can unlock the most toughest deceptors this guy's ever. Oh, here he is. I bet you it's SpongeBob. Ooh, I bet you it's a VCR cassette of Teen Wolf 2. What, you guys don't like that movie? See? Nothing's tougher than a Lego. Do you want to test your knowledge on megalodons? Yeah. Take Mr. DeMeo's megalodon quiz on his Teachers Pay Teacher site. He has a bunch of worksheets there for his other videos, too. Check the description box for a link. And Mr. DeMeo has merchandise as well, wow. like this chicken parm shirt, Roberta pillow, space rock shirt, chicken parm shark shirt, dead fish shirt, and more. Check out all his merchandise at his Teespring. Check the description box for a link. But most importantly, special thanks to Mr. DeMeo's patrons on Patreon, especially Mrs. Brown's first grade, Dean Scandalakis, Holden, Cassidy and Gunnar Lamborn, and Zeno the Shark. Become a patron on Patreon and you can have your name in a video. Pick my next topic, see behind the scenes videos, and more. Check the description box for a link. Yes, brothers. If I beat this next... I bet you it's a large Italian sub. I bet you it's balsamic vinaigrette. I bet you it's a seven-leaf clover. This better not be. I just spit everywhere. I fuck a Ooh, you wanna know what? <laughs> oh, I can't do it. Ooh, you wanna know what really bites? This video. It's garbage, garbage, corned beef and cabbage. You wanna know what really bites? Robert De Niro's recent filmography. He just isn't up to par with his older stuff. I'm getting a little sunburned. I forgot my zinc oxide. I found a tooth under a small child's pillow once, and I took it and his money. <laughs> I bet you it's a pot for me in a new video. Man. <laughs>